Police will not arrest you if you clap. Oh. <laughs> I want to let someone know that today will mark the end of your tears. If you are that person, you say better amen. The strong man that vowed that this will not work in your life, vengeance must collect him or her today. If you are that person, you will say better. Amen. amen. I'd like you to lift up your voice. Lord, let this covenant day of vengeance answer for my glory. Whatever has vowed to keep me in shame, in reproach, in hardship, in tears, let this covenant day of vengeance answer for my glory. Let your vengeance break forth for me in this service. God of liberation. God of this liberation commission. Let your vengeance break forth for me in this service. Let it answer for me in this service. I have struggled enough. I have cried enough. Lord, let your vengeance break forth for me in this service. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed today by the anointing the misery of the wicked will be ended in your life that strong man that has vowed that your story will remain the same they will go down today if you are saying amen say a better amen anyone that has vowed not to let you rest by the vengeance of God, they will be laid to rest. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. The trouble of your destiny, vengeance will hit that person today. Amen. Say amen like a believer. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Make that amen better. Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord and please take your seat. God bless you. Today is your day. Yeah. I say today is your day. Yeah. By the grace of God, we have a special envoy sent by the God of this commission. And I want to let you know that he has come with something for someone. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Yeah. I'm not going to talk too much in second service. I will uh, introduce him to him. You must stay home. If you go, you miss your blessing. If you go, you miss your blessing. But you must not go. I say you must not go. I know him very well. He's my senior brother. So just be rest assured that a uh, double, double release will be answering for you. Somebody is not saying amen. You're welcome, sir. Still in our teaching series, Riding on the Wings of Glory. I'd like to recall our minds to this fact that by predestination, you are ordained for glory and not for shame. You are programmed for consistent glory, not momentary glory. The part of the jaws is like a shining light that shines brighter and brighter unto a perfect day. And scripture also made us to understand Psalm 87 and verse 3, 
glorious things are said concerning the O city of Zion. Glorious things. So anyone looking at you and he's seeing shame is making a mistake. I say it's making a mistake. Anyone looking at you with an evil eye is making a mistake. Why? In God's agenda for you, you were already prepared for glory. So it's not where your enemy wants you to end, that is where you will end. You will end in God's perfect plan for your life. How do I know? He said, for I know that thoughts that I think towards you. I know that thoughts that I think towards you. Thoughts of good. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you. Who will give you? Who will give you? Unexpected end. Unexpected end. So you will end in glory. That matter concerning your life will only bring you to glory. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. And you need to be reminded again, when one season ends, another season starts. So this season will mark an end of reproach in your life. Amen. You better believe what I'm telling you now. And this season we kickstart a new era of glory for you and your family. Yeah. Say a better amen. Yeah. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 1. So everything, there is a season. And a time to every purpose under the heaven. There is a season. Life has been designed to be run in times and seasons. And the one that ordained it to run in times and seasons is the one that established you in this purpose. The Lord of hosts has proposed and who shall this honor? So no man, no enchantment, no manipulation can disorganize God and disorganize his plan. But rather anyone seeking and making moves to disorganize you and disorganize the plan of God, that's why vengeance will hit them today. Yeah. The Holy Spirit is the principal custodian of the glory of God. The Holy Spirit. And that is why no man can succeed in experiencing glory without the manifestation of the Spirit in his life. We read that scripture and we are reading it again this morning. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Read the text from verse 1. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I will not have you ignorant. You know that you were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as you were led. Wherefore I give to you understand to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God calleth Jesus a cost, and that no man can say that Jesus is the Lord, but by the Holy Ghost. Verse 4. Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are differences of administration, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of oppression, but it is the same God which worketh in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with her. The manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with her. One of the manifestations of the Spirit we are going to focus in this service is the spirit of love. Paul said in Romans chapter 5, I think verse 5, And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts. By who? By the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. The love of God is shared. Shared us. The love of God is 
shared in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. At new birth, you received Christ. You received the spirit of Christ. You also receive one of the content, major content, is the spirit of love. So it is impossible for you to flourish in life, establish in the blessings of God without the spirit of love. So it takes the love of God for every one of us to experience the supernatural life. The supernatural life. So your connectivity with the spirit gives you access. Say with me, access. To the full contents of what God's love can deliver. As long as the spirit of love is at work in you, you will not, you are not permitted, say with me, I'm not permitted, permitted. to suffer shame. (laughs) Hear this? God is love, not like love. He doesn't look like he is. God is love. Say with me, God is love. And if that love has been shared abroad in your heart, you have received your seed that has the capacity to grow into multiple trees manifesting the blessings of God for you. If God is love, can shame survive where God is? Can reproach stay where God stays? That is why it is impossible for anyone to carry love and walk in love and end in shame. You cannot. No matter who is wishing you. Shame. You can't carry love in your heart and anywhere your enemy expects you to end. Carry the love of God in your heart brings you to a stress-free zone. Struggle-free zone. Why? Love goes with a presence. God carriers are God lovers. You can't carry God and not carry love. And Jesus Christ came as a full manifestation of the love of God. And Paul said, Christ in you. Finish it. The hope of what? There is hope for you. I said there is hope for you. If the Christ you are carrying is not a Taiwan Christ or Belgium Christ, I want to let you know there is hope for you. Christ in you. The hope of glory. Not small glory. Greater glory. Greater glory. Christ in you. The hope of possibilities. When Christ is in you, love will answer in you. Are you what I'm saying now? Jesus is the bodily representation of the love of God. And if you have accepted Christ, you have accepted the full nature of God's love. I want us to hear it this morning. Your nature determines your future. We have always had, we say, just leave me, let me be myself. (laughs) If they allow you to be yourself, you will become the wrong thing. I'm just me. If you are just you, only God know what you are you. The hope for my better tomorrow and your better tomorrow is the love of God that has answered in you by the Holy Ghost. The spirit of love creates for us 
a spiritual habitat for the manifestation of the glory of God. It creates. So you can create it. So, hear this all. You are responsible for your glory. That's why you can choose to walk in love and you can choose also not to walk in love. You are responsible for your glory. Who controls your behavior? Who controls your attitude? Who controls your action? Your nature determines your future. If the spirit of love has been shed abroad in you, it only enables you to pro provide a conducive atmosphere. For the glory of God to manifest. So as long as this love seed. Has been sown in you. It guarantees you. An unending face of glory. As you are finishing one glory, you are entering another glory. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. So it is what you create in you that determines what happens around you. I don't determine your feeling. You determine your feeling. Nobody has the power to manipulate or regulate your feeling. You determine your feeling. If you allow people to feel bad, it's your, it's your choice. But if the spirit of love has been shared abroad in you, you give it opportunity to create an atmosphere for glory. There is an atmosphere that must be created. If it is not created, glory cannot manifest. You can't live in love and live in lack. Because wherever love is, God is. For in his presence, there is fullness. Say with me, fullness. Of joy. At his presence, there are pleasures. Pleasures. You can't live in love and live in lack. Love creates abundance. The love of God creates abundance. Wherever God is, lack is not permitted to survive. And hear this again. The spirit of love cannot be at work in you and you are suffering breakdown. No. As long as it is at work in you, you will be experiencing breakthroughs. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. I repeat again, you are responsible for the happenings around you. You determine your feeling. You determine your behavior. You determine your action. Where the spirit of love is at work, you don't suffer lack. You don't suffer breakdown. You experience breakthrough. Because wherever God appears, doors must open. Wherever God appears, things must turn around. The appearance of God in you is the manifestation of the love of God in you. No wonder Jesus said, if ye abide in my love, he said, I and my father, we come and make ourselves manifest in thee. So you enjoy supernatural manifestation by you abiding. If you abide. 
if ye abide in my love. So abiding in his love is a responsibility which no one can give to you but which you can give to yourself. If ye abide in my love, abide. If ye abide in my love, you can as well choose not to abide. He that dwelleth in the sacred place of the Almighty shall abide under, under the shadow, under an influence. Love is an influence. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Love is an influence. And what is influencing you is the spirit of love. The spirit of love influences you to positive action. Positive living. Positive behavior. Now hear this. Everybody in church, there is something controlling him. You are either controlled by the right thing or you are controlled by the wrong thing. No one that Paul said, no one knows the spirit in man except the man himself. There is something controlling everybody. So when you are controlled by the right spirit, get ready, you will experience the right action. You are not even saying amen. Amen. When the spirit of love is at work in you, hardship is dissolved. Shame is wiped away. Hear me? Growing in love is not optional because it keeps the enemy far. What led thee, O thou see that thou fled it? Thou Jordan that thou was driven back. He said, Tremble thou at the presence of the Lord. At the presence of the God of Jacob. It's a responsibility. So growing in love increases the intensity of the presence of God around you. Growing in love. By so doing, hardships are melted. Situations are forced to be turned around. Things get turned around. Why? You have chosen to dwell in a place. Jesus said, if ye abide in my love, I am my father. I am my father will come and make ourselves manifest in thee. How can him and the father dwell there and hardship is reigning there? It's not possible. I say it's not possible. I say it's not possible. Whatever has caged your heart today that yoke will be destroyed. Yeah. I discovered also when the spirit of love is at work, signed mind is guaranteed. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of what? But of what? No, no, no. He said, but of love. <laughs> you can't carry that spirit and not carry sound mind. If your mind is not sound, check what is working through you. And scripture says, as a man thinketh in his heart. If your mind is not sound, your spirit is not sound. You can't have the right spirit and not have the right mind. The two go together. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love and of what? Sound mind. So the love is created by the atmosphere. Given to it to operate. So when you go to wrong thinking, evil thinking, bad feeling, check the spirit. 
check the spirit. It is not the spirit of love that is operating in you at that point in time. A different spirit. And you know, your experience in life is conditioned by your thoughts. As a man thinketh in his heart. You can't carry the spirit of love and not operate goodwill. People that have love, they have goodwill. They don't have ill will, evil will. They don't have evil wish for other people. What is the proof that the spirit of love is at work in you? A man asks Jesus, what is the greatest commandment? And Jesus was pointing him to what? Love. So if the spirit of love is at work in you, it will be shown in your love for humanity. Your love for one another. Your love for your brothers. Let me say this. I've mentioned it before. I'm reckoning it again. You will only be remembered for two things. The good you created or the evil you contributed. If you go back home today, do a classic analysis of your life. What have you contributed into people? Gossip. Blackmail. Evil conspiracy. Check your contribution to people's life. Oh, because that is a proof of your manifestation of the love of God. It's not prayer. It's not prayer. Hear, hear me? You are either adding goodness or you are adding badness. Influencing or telling you how to undo someone is an envoy of Satan sent to you. What is the proof of your work in love? If what you are adding to someone is not bringing joy, is not bringing laughter, if what you are adding to someone is what will bring shame, what will bring tears, you are, you are fulfilling satanic covenants. You are not fulfilling the commandments of Jesus. You can't prove that you carry the spirit of love. And all you are doing is walking against people. Seeing how someone will be cut down. Seeing how someone will go down. How someone will enter reproach. How someone will miss a blessing. Hear me? If anybody misses a blessing because of you, God will punish you. Write it down, I said so. If you can't bless them, leave them alone. Don't contribute to their sorrow. Don't contribute to their pain. Leave them alone. If you can't help me, leave me alone. If you can't add to my laughter, leave me alone. If you can't solve my problem, don't add to my problem. Hear me? We are sent. Say, I am sent. I am sent. As helper to someone. Someone must of necessity break through through you. But if anyone is broken down through you, you are under punishment from God. So the proof of your work in love and that the spirit of love is in you, how will I add laughter to this man, O Korea? 
how will I contribute to his change of story? How will I add to his advancement? But what we see many people do in church, tongue talking, Holy Ghost filled, evil, evil plots. And every day they come and partake of the anointing that will turn into annoyance. Hear me and hear me well. You are delaying your manifestation. We are not going to look for the spirit anywhere. The spirit is already in you. Are you hear what I'm saying now? Because the moment you are born again and have accepted Jesus Christ, the spirit of the seed of love is already in you. You are being suppressing it. The old nature has taken over you and making sure that nothing good works in your life. You can't delay love and experience glory. <laughs> That is why I want to let you know, walking in love is a choice if you must see glory. If you limit how far you can love, you will limit how much of glory you can carry. If you limit it, so I don't want to love too much. Now hear me, whether you love too much or you love too less, it is your choice. I say it is your choice. And the Holy Spirit, being a gentle spirit, he doesn't argue with you. If you allow him, he will walk. If you don't allow him, he will look for who wants to walk. Where he can walk. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? No wonder Paul said, examine yourself if ye be in faith. Examine yourself if ye be in love. Some people will hear about the wrongdoing of some people. It will now be a classic topic for gossip. Anything you can confront, keep your mouth shut. You are not better off either. Some people are good in other people's matter. But one day we will hear your own matter. You are good in analyzing and reanalyzing and analyzing and analyzing as if you are a chemist. You can analyze people matter. Are you perfect? When you see them, you say he be deacon, you say he be pastor. We will know you one day. They say when breeze blow, how many years go show? Breeze must blow one day. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Yeah. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. I want to let you know, allow the spirit of love to work in you. Allow it, allow it. When you give it a chance, you enter glory. Its major mission is for you to affect. Jesus said in John 10 and verse 10, the thief cometh to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He said, but I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. More abundantly. More abundantly. So your passion for the love of God is proved by your passion for humanity, for your care, for your concern. We are here to influence and affect one another positively. Positively. That's the proof that the love of God is at work in you. But like I said before, it has been shared, but you allow it to operate. If you don't allow it to operate, it then means that you are not going to experience glory. You are not going to experience glory. The manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit. To profit. When the Spirit of love is at work in you, you open up chapters of profiting. Profiting. I heard Papa said, 
I can't go down. I will never go down. Why? I have good will. I have good will. He said, my good will is enough to cancel your bad will. I have good will. I'm not looking for who will fall through me. I'm only looking for who will rise through me. And I've discovered that people that carry good will, anytime you are working against them to go down, now you they go down. Anytime. Anytime. It's a confirmation of scripture. Surely they shall gather. But not by me. Anyone that gather against me shall do what? Fall. I want to let you know, walk in love. Bishop Abiyah said, friendship is a choice. Love is a command. Even if you don't want to become a friend to the person, forgive the person and let him go. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Forgive him and let him go. Friendship is a choice. Love is a command. Jesus said, this commandment I give unto thee, love one another. Love one another. Love one another. So when you walk in love, you grow in God. And when you grow in God, you grow in glory. As you are growing in love, you are growing in glory. Your limits of glory is only determined by you walking in love. Walking in love. Just keep walking in love. Don't hinder it. As much as it is in your power to do good, just keep doing good. Do you know that you can't be thinking of doing good and be plotting evil? It's not possible. You can't be thinking of doing good to someone and be thinking of cutting down the person. No, it is not possible. The two don't go together. It's either one is at work or the other is silenced. Allow the spirit of love to work in you. You enter the limitless zone of progress. You enter the realm of unending possibilities. Because love carriers, they are news makers. They make news. They don't make noise. Love carriers, they are blessing showers. You can't be a love carrier and lack blessing. I have discovered that. People that are always thinking of giving, 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 they never lack. I have proved it. Before one blessing is finishing, another one is entering. Why? There is a force at work in them. The seed of love. So if your pocket is in lack now, I want to let you know you can change the tide. All you just need to do, grow in love. Grow in love. Think of what to give. Think of how to be a blessing to someone. Think of how to be a blessing to the church. Papa said, if that thought is in your heart, God will put it in your hand. God will put it in your hand. I see God put it in someone's hand. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. Yeah. Whatever limit the enemy has placed on you to walk in love, that yoke will be broken today. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. Yeah. Do you know why I know so? If Satan cannot stop you from arising from your seat to accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and as your Savior, he cannot stop you from walking in love. That first step you took disarmed him. You can also disarm him again. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? You can disarm the devil permanently. Anytime you stay 
and the thought of hatred, bitterness is flooding your heart. Cry out, I silence you by the blood of Jesus. You must shut the devil out of your heart. Shut him out. Do you know it's possible for someone to be in church and still be fuming with anger? Boiling like pepper. It's not the spirit of God. It's Satan himself. But anyone under the attack of the wicked, I decree today by the anointing that your could be destroyed. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. No one breaks through in life and experience the fullness of God's blessing without vengeance. Vengeance is the pathway for the full manifestation of God's plan and purpose for your life. God is a God of mercy. is also the God of vengeance. His vengeance nature did not cancel his mercy nature. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. I will show compassion on whom I will show compassion. Meaning there are some people that don't deserve compassion. They are called the wicked. And scripture say God is angry with the wicked every day. Two, four, seven. So every new level there is a new devil. The devil that is angry with your next level of glory, vengeance will bring them down today. Yeah. That amen is too weak. Yeah. In Luke chapter 11 and verse 21, Jesus recognized a personality called a strong man. When a strong man armed keepeth his palace, his goods are intact, are in peace. Look at verse 22. But when a stronger than he shall come upon him and overcome him, he taketh from him all his armors, wherein he has trusted and divided his paws. Keep that scripture. When is stronger than he. When is stronger than he. I want to let you know. That strong man that has limited you as a person. Limited you from going forward. Limited you from getting married. Limited you from having your baby. I speak under the authority of Jesus, the backer and the sender of this commission. That strong man over your life will go down today. Amen. Say amen like a believer. Amen. Your future is not to be limited by the strong man. Your blessings, your heritage in life is not permitted to be limited by the strong man. Now hear me, whether you like it or not, there is the activity of the strong man in individual destinies, in families, in careers. There is. There is. Nothing resists God's plan and purpose in the life of individuals like the oppression of strong men. This strong man can appear as a marine spirit. appear as a spirit husband. It can appear as spirit wife. It can appear as occultic individuals from your father's house. I remember one young man. Someone in this church told his father, 
Let me see how your children will raise their head. Let me see how your children will raise their head. We had one Monday prayer. Strong man must die. After that prayer, the following day, the man slept. He never woke up. I remember one of our sister. They traveled to the village. I don't know what transferred. The man told the husband, Mechagi. You know the meaning? After dealing with you. And they only had one, bro one, one son in the family. The man is pursuing. No, this one is different. This is another one now. This one that said Mechagi is a driver. A driver. Do you know what? He died like chicken. We had the same prayer. Strong man must die. <laughs> After the prayer, an oil landed in their house in Joss. He couldn't fly. They hit the bed down and died. That same day. Say with me, that same day. A vehicle knocked this man to pieces. The same man that said, Mechagin. Any evil man or woman that has vowed a vow against you, I decree for you on this altar, the vengeance of God will hit them down. If you are saying amen, say better amen. If the strong man does not go down, your head will not rise. Your family will not break through. The strong man fights every element of life. He fights finance. He fights building. He fights marriage. He fights fruit of the womb. Whoever is fighting you from getting married, fighting you from having your baby, Whoever they are using to sponsor the miscarriage, I speak on this altar today. The oil of vengeance will kill your person. Say amen like a believer. You are being saying, Lord, have your way. It is now. I say it is now. Stop saying God will touch his heart. Whose heart? An evil man that have sold his heart to the devil. No, God doesn't touch those kind of hearts. He punish those kind of hearts. Anyone sponsoring attack for you, they are included in this vengeance. Whoever is supplying the information they are using to attack you, vengeance will hit them too. You are not saying amen like a believer. I just remember something now and I think someone that is because of someone a sister was to get married this pan wine tapper said let him see how they will come and do the traditional marriage the sister came and complained I said Lord you said it is not good for a man to be alone you shall provide for him a helpmate now they have found themselves and someone is saying it cannot hold. Oh God, give him bed rest. Do you know what? He went to tap his pan wine as usual. You know what? He missed one leg and he landed with the back. As he landed, he was on permanent bed rest. I want to let you know whoever has vowed you will not marry or that you will not carry your baby the God of vengeance fighting for this commission give your enemy bed rest the same way it happened for that sister any troubler of your life and destiny let the vengeance of God give them bed rest if you are saying them and say better amen. amen. Another sister had this own sister's testimony. 
He said, Pastor, I am like that sister. Do this, pray the same prayer for me. Do you know what happened? He has a bicycle accident. He didn't jam anybody, nobody jammed him. He fell by himself. And his leg broke. His leg did not fracture. The thing do like this buckle. How can a, a bicycle break somebody's leg? Doctor, I can't understand. That's Holy Ghost breaking. I pray for you. Anyone that has vowed that you will not enter your joy, vengeance of God, give them accidents. Say amen like a believer. And lastly, before you pray, anyone monitoring times in your life, there are time monitors. They monitor when good want to come so that they can scatter it. But there is one that controls times and season. His name is called El Shaddai. I pray for you. By the anointing of vengeance today, anyone monitoring times in your life to scatter your blessing, let vengeance hit them now. Say amen like a believer. Anyone monitoring your cycle, monitoring your breakthrough to scatter it, God of vengeance, scatter them today. Rise up to your feet. The message don't finish. Pastor, bring the oil. You are going to pray. Studio, write this prayer. Oh God of vengeance, be fast to. Oh God of vengeance, arise for me by the anointing. Cut down every strong man fighting your glory in my life. No, 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 no. no sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Thank you. I want you to pray. Oh God of vengeance. Arise for me. By your vengeance. Cut down. Any strong man. Fighting your glory in my life. Lift up your voice and begin to pray now. Any strong man fighting your glory in my life. God of vengeance. I want you to pray. I want you to pray. God of vengeance. Is for me. Le kato peke teke te. Edush elo parota. Lia sono ke breke tolia. Oh God of angels, arise for me. Cut down any strong man fighting your glory in my life. The strong man. Vowed a vow, lekato e seneto, e shuketo pe, iladi e ketolia, be ragada yaga 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 yaga. Vengeance of God, arise for me. God down any strong man. Fighting your glory in my life. Any strong man that has found that I will not see good. Le Galagodo Zekatayeta Ilodoleko Brekete Zunekateta Elabregodo Shata. God of vengeance. God of vengeance. 
angels. God of angels. God of angels. God of angels. Arise for me. God of angels. Arise for me. Execute vengeance against the strong man. Strong man, fight in my glory. Die by the vengeance of God. I command you to die. Pray from the depth of your heart. You are not going home without that victory. That breakthrough must answer for you now. That breakthrough must answer for you now. Jikutelia, Lamoro Sekotera, Ilodo do Breketelia, Mengono, Ezute, Pelado, Jacopa, Ilialeta, Ragalabayata, Endopero, Jotopele. Vengeance of God strike in my favor in Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray we are going to enter part two of the prayer but before we do that all eyes close all heads bow you are here you are not born again you want to make it right with Jesus wherever you are inside and outside Put your right hand on your chest and say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come unto you today. I know that I am a sinner. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood. I reject sin. I reject Satan. Come into my life. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. In Jesus' name we are pray. Wherever you are, you pray that prayer. Give come here you. now. Go and sit down. Just come now. now. I will be the one to anoint you. Just come. Come, oh. Come. God bless you. Come. Come. In Jesus' name. If you are coming, come quickly. We don't have time to waste. We just have about 12 minutes more. If you have oil, raise it up. Father, in the name of Jesus this oil is blessed it becomes for everyone the rod of vengeance whatever has vowed that your story will not change whoever has vowed that you will remain in tears i decree by the spirit of vengeance flowing through this oil let that personality be laid to rest if you are saying amen say a better amen Put the oil down. Jesus. No. Apostle John said his fan is in his hand. And he will thoroughly purge our floor. And burn with unquenchable fire. You are going to pray. Vengeance of God. Sweep through my life. Whatever represents an arrow of the wicked by your vengeance flush them out vengeance of god sweep through my life whatever represents an arrow of the wicked by the oil of vengeance sweep them out flush them out in the name of jesus christ including children lako shatana ziso kaleta brelush ekopra Lihando Rekotedi Jeklopa Pro Ezosia Irekotalia Lift up your voice and pray as the oil come up. Please be fast, be fast. There's no time to waste. Lamandreli Shotalia. Rekataledosh. Whatever represents a finger of the wicked 
a manifestation of the enemy on any area of my life oh god by the oil of vengeance flush them out judge the works of the wicked bring it Lift up your voice and pray. Vengeance of God sweep through my life. Whatever represents an arrow of the wicked by the oil of vengeance, flush them out. Flush them out. Pray. Pray. Whatever represents the arrow of the wicked by the oil of vengeance, let them be flushed out. Pray from the depth of your heart. You are going home free. You are going home free. That reproach will be no more. That reproach will be no more. That reproach will be no more. Whatever represents an arrow of the wicked in my life, whatever represents a manifestation of the wicked, oh, by the oil of vengeance, flush them out now in the name of Jesus. Let them be flushed out. Zeunda yakata, elo brendonia, zekalata, ero beko teto, la zono do bere gada 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 gada. You are going home free. You are going home free. Today mark the end of that reproach. Today mark the end of that shame. Today mark the end of that limitation. Today mark the end of that torment. Thank you, Father. Lagado Shagadaria. Reshagalagadaya. Elo Brede Ligadata. Thank you, Father. Lift up your voice and cry out. Le katande erado shakata. Ere te go pregede dia. Ze enteledo shelo la barata. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Put your right hand on your head. Whatever look. Like the hand of the wicked over your matter, I decree by the all of vengeance that spell is broken now, that yoke is destroyed now. The evil personality appearing and attacking you in the dream, I decree by the oil of vengeance that evil personality be laid to rest. Whatever evil decision was passed over you by the strong man, I decree today that evil decision swallowed up by fire in the name of Jesus. The strong man that vowed a vow against you in the name of the God of Oyedeko, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command a strong man sitting over your destiny. Fall down and die. The strong man that vowed that you will not break through. Swell up and die. The strong man that vowed that your story will not change. Die by fire. Say me like a believer. I decree by this oil of vengeance enter into your breakthrough 
enter into your next glory enter your next level of progress enter your rest roundabouts enter your rest roundabouts take that promotion now enter your marital destiny carry your miracle baby say amen like a believer and scripture say affliction will not rise the second time so they mark the end of the operation of that strong man this week you will hear the strong man has been laid to rest if you are that person you will say better amen, amen. wave your hand unto god and give him glory open your eyes turn and follow this man huh?